I made the switch from PEG Hydrogel to Barrogel in 2019. There's a number of benefits from the patient's point of view, there's benefits from the surgeon's point of view, and there's benefits from the nursing point of view. If a patient's having prostate radiotherapy, there is a significant reduction in the toxicity. The key benefits from the nursing point of view is there's no assembly. The gel comes as a, as a unit and you attach it to the needle and you're ready to go. And then from the surgeon's point of view, it allows me to be much more controlled there's patients that have got big prostates, there's big patients that have got small prostates, there's patients that have got disease at the apex, there's patients that have got disease at the, the base or left or right or bilaterally. And so you can be thinking about where the cancer is as well, about where you're putting the gel and where the oncologists want their extra margins. When I first switched from using a PEG hydrogel to Barrogel, I was used to hydrodissection because you have to do that with a PEG hydrogel. But actually with Barrogel, you gel dissect. So you're putting the needle in the same place as you would do with hydrodissection, but you can slowly build up the gel in the right place as you move it around and you can see exactly where it's going. If I can see that live on the ultrasound, uh, I don't have a time limit. If I can get the spacing in exactly the way that fits that patient, um, according to their prostate, to their disease, uh, to the shape and size of, the, uh, of, of their anatomy, the learning curve for Barrogel is really short. It's, it's a very easy product to use. It's, you know, how to put a simple syringe onto a needle and then insert it into the patient. That's one of the easiest things that I do in my clinical practice. When I switched from PEG Hydrogel to Barrogel, I found that largely the time it takes to do the implants about the same. So as soon as you get the needle at the right place and you're position checking, you start to gel dissect, largely it's about the same kind of time. But actually, you're spending more of your time making the left and right symmetry and apex to base symmetry perfect. So it feels like your time spent is doing more that's beneficial for the patient. When you start using Barrogel, it is immediately obvious that it is really safe and you're in control. And that's the primary instinct of a clinician and as a surgeon is safety, patient safety. You're, you know, you've got to make sure that there's not any complications and things go exactly as you plan them to be. And then there's also this comfort blanket that there is an undo button. There is the enzyme that's available to remove the gel if you need to. Now, I've never known anyone that's ever needed it, but it's like having airbags in the car. If you, if you it's just nice to know they're there. Early on in my spacing experience, I had some examples where the spacing that I was putting in went entirely one side or the other side. Since I switched to Barrogel, I'm much more in control of building that, that spacing. And it's, it's a real game changer in the outcomes that we've seen for patients. And that's what we want. That's why we're in medicine.